In this video, we're gonna be replacing the horns on this Ford Explorer. You wanna access these through the driver's side inner fender well. Now we're gonna remove the wheel, use a 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Now take the wheel off. Underneath, you wanna take these three bolts out, use an eight millimeter socket. I'm gonna take these screws out right here. You're gonna use a 5.5 millimeter socket. Then we're just gonna pull this back a little bit. There's another screw right there. You want to take that out. The same 5.5 millimeter socket. Now we're going to take the push pins out. These centers have a little area where you can use a Phillips head screwdriver and just unscrew them, but they're plastic. Sometimes they don't unscrew too easy. You got to be very gentle. Pull the center out. Then you can use a trim tool, just get underneath and pull that out. So you wanna take the rest of those out. There's a couple down below as well. Pull that out a little further. And that's good. So pretty much all the push pins from the center and forward. Then grab the inner fender well. Just pull it down, just out of the way. And that should be good right there. I'm gonna disconnect the connector, just push down on the tab. And slide it down. You wanna take this screw out right here and it goes in from the front. So you wanna take a eight millimeter socket and just go in from the front. And just try to line it up. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not impossible. There we go, that's lined up. I'm gonna loosen that screw up. Take that screw out. And then just grab the bracket. You can slide the bracket out. Just like that. Now take the horns and line this up. And if you are struggling with this, you could always take the horns off the bracket. Just use a 10 millimeter socket put the bracket up first and then put the horns on. But it's not impossible to do it this way. And just get the bolt started. Just make sure you're not pinching any of the wires. And snug that up. Good. Now take the connector, line it up, and lock it down. Now take the inner fender well.
and just line it back in position. the screw right here, get that started. Before I tighten that down though, I'm gonna put the push pins in. Get those all lined up. Make sure those are lined up and then push them in. Tighten this down. Snug. And you can push this back in. Get those lined up. Get these screws started. and tighten them down. And then you can do the same on the other side. And put the bolts in underneath, get those started. Put the wheel back on. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.